Today on the Messy Garage, we're getting kind of serious about uh, diagnosing things. Hi, and welcome back to the Messy Garage. So, as a DIYer, information is kind of everything, right? It, you, if you're like me anyway, I know how to turn the wrenches and do a torque wrench and nuts and bolts kind of stuff, I guess is what I call what I do. I don't really have the ability to diagnose, especially when it comes down to the more modern cars and a lot of the modern systems. Uh, I need some help. And over the years, I've had a variety of, of scanners. I had a Bluetooth one, which did very little. I got the Schwaben one, because I have several BMWs and a Mini um, at the time. I'm kind of down to one very old BMW and a Mini now. <laughs> Uh, which this didn't work with, uh, actually sort of does. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, they're all going into the OBT, OBD2 port. This reads BMW codes, which is cool, but it's slow and hard to read, uh, in some ways. Um, and I had a newer thing from Innova, which is a lot more powerful than the Schwab and doesn't do the BMW, you know, specific codes in the same way. Um, you know, there's also another corded model as, as my friend here. And the thing I struggle with really is the interface that it uses. Um, very texty, very, um, limited, I guess I'll say. And then for reasons I'll skip, it's kind of a, a long story as I typically do. I am in temporary possession, and I'm literally getting ready to, to go back and, and return it, but not for any fault of the product. It's just a, a dance with the store. Uh, long story. But anyway, <laughs> the Innova SDS-43, and this is about $300, which is kind of in the same zone as this guy, you know, more graphic in its uh, menus, a little more limited, I think, you know, has the same kind of uh, uh, helper software that kind of tells you what the codes mean and what you do, but I'm really looking for something more like this. Now, to be fair, I did contact Innova and they um, offered me uh, a review model of something I already have, actually, which was the 5610. I think I think it is the same model. It's just a different uh, model number for the same capability that I already have. And, and I'm not saying I don't like this, actually. And I think one of the things I'm going to do is compare what this will do with this, you know, for obviously less money. And I think these things do an impressive amount um, for what their investment is. And one of the bigger benefits for a DIYer like me is, you know, the very graphic nature of what this Autel MX900 does. Now, I haven't seen a lot of reviews on this, and that's one of the reasons I'm doing, like I said, was a preview, not so much uh, a teaser, because I hate that. But I also wanted to get your opinions. I mean, are you interested in seeing kind of a, you know, what I'll call consumer-grade handheld reader against more of a pro level, all the very entry compared to some of them? Uh, you know, Altel type tool. Um, I briefly considered, I was sort of hoping to get the uh, the higher end end of a competitor to this guy. Um, and I'll show you some of the things this does with an app in contrast to that, if that's something you guys are interested in. So my point is I will do an unboxing here at some point very soon, but I'd like to hear from anybody watching this, what kinds of things would you like to see, um, you know, from this itself? Are you interested in what it can do compared to this and the app, app companion that it has? Um, you know, even I could put the Schwab in there, although it's an older, older tool. So, you know, that's a quick look at what's coming and a request for, you know, what interests you? That's really what I do this for is to to share knowledge and you guys might tell me something uh, to do something or ask a question that might help me understand uh, whether this was worth it, something I can do with it that I wasn't aware of, uh, you know, 
did, did I make a good choice here? Um, and are there other better things? I've seen lots and lots of videos. And, you know, I kind of, to be honest, went with a brand name I know, uh, if only generally. Um, haven't seen a lot of reviews on this one in particular. It's a new model that has the latest gener generation of Android and some other things that we'll talk about when I do the actual unboxing itself. But let me know what you like to see. That's really the main uh, goal here. And because, uh, like I said, there's not a lot out there yet on this one that I could find on YouTube anyway. And even reviews and stuff are kind of limited. And so help a brother out. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment with what you think you'd like to see here and any comparison type things. And uh, stay messy.